Remember those videos on the internet made by BuzzFeed? You know, those videos where it's like two guys blasting their spendings on all kinds of food on three different price ranges? Not gonna lie, those videos were my comfort pastime whenever I didn't have anything to do on the internet. Most of the time, it was just that entertaining to watch these guys buying food from these price ranges. But upon rewatching at least half of their videos, there's something I thought of whenever these guys reach for the most expensive dishes. And then it hit me. It really dawned on me. Like, like an apple hitting Isaac or Newton saying Eureka or your mom telling me to eat her ass. A life-changing revelation. All this fine dining is downright pointless. Pointless as in spending your money on this shit. Even if you're a rich guy, it is a terrible way to spend your moolah. But why? Why? Why am I not in favor of such an exquisite experience? Allow me to hit back with one of the biggest reasons, okay? The fact that so many of these fine, delicious, expensive delicacies all come in such tiny f***ing portions. It's the same classic cliche, always with the white ceramic dishes, with the main course itself sitting at the very center, looking like a piece of fourth grade arts and crafts, accompanied with the finest quality pieces of silverware, which by the way, for food being served at this size, what the hell do you need utensils for? This shit is tiny. You could probably just have the whole thing slide all the way down to your throat in one gulp. But Hoshi, restaurants are doing this so that people pay more for their meals. And people are willing to pay solely for the experience itself. Seriously? What the fuck are people on about when they say that bullshit? Them restaurants can kiss my gourmet ass if they want me to pay extra to have another try of their bite-sized gold skin battle pass wagyu steak. They be taking a look at my wallet, locked in, lip biting and sweating and thirsting for my cash. Like chef, does this average working class quality wallet scream money to you, huh? And paying this much for this amount of food solely for the experience of it? What the fuck is the experience gonna do for me? A, a, a photo to post on Instagram for only the 10, 20 people that generally give a shit about me? Maybe the feeling of being rich, which only lasts a couple of seconds? I can tell you something that is a guarantee, okay? Paying this much for the experience, the only thing that the experience will give you is the realization that you'll never get all that money back ever again. Listen, I get it. Restaurants like this and this and this that serve all these kinds of small ass portions are only targeted towards anyone that holds an American Express card and a butt f load of money. Let me give my input on this. If I were in a position in which I am a filthy rich guy with an American Express card, even if I had the same exact net worth as these three men, why on f all earth would I even pay some chump change for this tiny ass dish? A full course meal you say? Motherfucker, this is just another day at the food sample area. It's food samples, but they take away my $100 bills. For a disgusting amount of money, I would have bought the finest quality products that any grocery store could give me. You know, stockpiling my own shit so I can make my own fine-ass quality food. Or you know, if I'm not really the kind of person that would cook and do all the hard work, then bitch, you can bet that on any given day of the week, I'm going ham with the steakhouses, the street food, the local food, the fast food, all of it. As long as the portion of the meal isn't smaller than my microscopic then my stomach is satisfied. In addition to all of this, it has in a way contributed to my growth and how I perceive what matters in terms of money. Like I prefer a normal secure average house than a gigantic Bezos mansion, or I prefer having comfy thrift store shoes than signature Jordans. A normal car over a Bugatti, a moped over a Ducati, and the same goes with food, fine dining or street food. I pick the latter because not only is it cheaper, it just f***ing tastes better. Fried rice, barbecue and sticky rice, kebab, noodles, all of these served in large portions just outweigh in value compared to the small microscopic portions of fine dining. Not only are they microscopic, but chefs have this god-awful obsession with creating complex flavors. Not too sweet, not too fishy, not too salty, not too spicy, make it unique, they said. You want flavor? I'll give you f***ing flavor. I'll take all that shit and douse it in some good old f***ing MSG. Moral of the story, you're not Anton f***ing Ego. Shut up.